support exercise and health sciences at Loughborough University, we research caregiver-child interactions around food and at mealtimes. We're keen to share our research findings and best practice ideas with parents, caregivers, childcare staff and health professionals to help promote healthy, happy eating behaviours in children. The Child Feeding Guide is a website and free mobile app providing evidence-based information, tips and tools to help caregivers with child feeding. Parents and caregivers told us that they found it really difficult to find credible, evidence-based information to help them with feeding their children once they started eating solid foods. The Child Feeding Guide provides parents and caregivers with information to help them really understand more about their children's eating behaviours. It offers effective, proven strategies to promote healthy eating. What many parents and caregivers don't realise is that fussy eating behaviour is actually a normal part of a child's development and one that is usually just a phase. It's believed to be an evolutionary response which protected our ancestors from ingesting potentially poisonous foods when they were scavenging around. We typically see this behaviour increase from around 18 months of age and this coincides with when the child becomes more mobile and more independent. At this time, children often start to make judgments about a food based on its look, smell or texture and it's not uncommon for a child to reject all green foods, for example, based on their experiences with just one. While fussy eating is common, there are a number of things that parents and caregivers can do to help, for example, eating with your children and continuing to offer a seemingly disliked food. It is also not recommended that parents and caregivers pressure or force a child to eat more than they wish. Doing so repeatedly can teach children not to rely on their internal cues of fullness, but rather to rely on external cues to manage their eating behaviour, and this has been implicated in childhood overweight. As well as children's eating behaviour, we're also interested in the decisions that people make regarding how to feed a child, for example breast or bottle feeding, and how psychology can be used to influence this. One of our current projects involves working on attitude change and we've developed a workbook for teenagers that challenges some of the negative views they might have about breastfeeding and hopefully will help them make more informed decisions when the time comes. Coupled with the Child Feeding Guide, this illustrates some of the ways in which our research has a positive impact on child and family health and wellbeing. Music